patronise all the signs, get jealous, patronise and look through your phone, look through your messages, cutting you off from all your friends, you're not allowed to see any of your friends, you have to be with him 24-7. You can't do anything on your own, they don't, they don't like you wearing makeup, they don't like other boys looking at you. You can't talk to anyone else. Anyone who even thinks one little symptom, if, if it's just one, you need to go and tell somebody, no matter who it is, just make sure you tell someone. It's just going to get worse and worse. What are you doing on? Teach training day. Again? Oh, we're having them every week now. We get to school better. Mm. There's one last week, didn't there? You could have tidied up. Well, I was actually doing that before you came in. <laughs> Where's all the tea bags? Well, you need to go shopping, don't you? Well, it just started out, he wanted me to be with him all the time, which I thought were normal, you know, he's boyfriend and girlfriend. But, and then, he started saying stuff to me about, oh, you shouldn't let your mum treat you like that. She's she's not right. You, you should tell her how it is. And then I, I spent more time at his house. I spent more time with him. And my mum just sort of, sort of drifted apart. I don't care. Well, you're embarrassing me. I'm sick of providing for you. I'm providing for him as well. He's sucking all my tea. All oh, right, so it's just about money then, is yes, it? Yes, it is about money and it's about your welfare, young lady. You need to get to college and get yourself an education. Me? Yes, you oh, do. So you went to college. You've got a fancy... Well, that was different in my day. Oh, was it? Yes, it was. All right, all right. And I'm trying to do my best for you and providing for you and I'm not providing for that loser. He's my boyfriend. And I don't care. Deal with it. I am dealing with it. Get him out. Fine, I'll deal with it. I'll go. Right, good. I don't know. I just like it because he seemed—he didn't seem like everyone else. He were, he were quite quiet, but when he did say something, it it meant something like it was funny or he just—he had something about him that I just liked. Being... I wonder who that's why I asked. <laughs> so like, do you believe you want to get one person in your life? What? Like? What right. A soulmate, you know, someone, one person you spend the rest of your life with. Yeah, it got pretty intense, really, uh, to begin with. Um, he started saying he loved me, and I, I'd only had a few boyfriends. I never had sex, or and my boyfriends that I had weren't serious. I barely ever kissed a boy, so I'd, it was pretty easy to get carried away because he kept going on a bit out me, going on at me saying how great I was and how we're meant to be together and I felt safe, I felt secure, I, th I don't know what it was, I think maybe because we were older I felt that he'd look after me, show me everything about life, it would be great together really. I just had a feeling about him that he weren't good for her, do you know what I mean? That she kept leaving college and bunking off just to see him all the time, that worried me. She changed. She changed a lot. Me and her dad split up when she was 12. And I put it down to, like, just growing up, rebelling, wanting more freedom, that kind of thing. But when she met him, she, she changed a real lot. We ended up moving into his parents' house. And things just started changing. It, it, it weren't the same. It was going wrong somehow. He, um, he started, like, Manipulating me in a way, like always undermining me and patronising me and telling me I, I felt stupid all the time. And it, then he started pushing me, just calling me names, just little things, but it were enough to keep me, well, get me less confident. Do you want to go to the party? Get changed now or going nowhere? I'm going to this party whether you like it or not. You are? You huh? heard me. I'm not getting changed. I ain't even got anything else anyway. Changed, this is right? the only dress I've got, John. To me, it's the only dress you've got. It's the only dress I've got. I just said, you know, what are you doing? I thought you loved me. Boyfriend's like, I'm going to do this. And he just said, it's you, it's you. It's you, it's doing it, not him. 
her. I feel guilty. I feel guilty that I suspected something and didn't really do anything about it. Should have done. Advice? <laughs> Definitely go and tell somebody. Tell your mum, the police, a friend, anybody. Just don't keep it to yourself. That's what Louise was doing. That's where it all escalated, I think. I think she should have got out sooner. At the time, I didn't think anything of it, but looking back, it was all about control. Just controlling me. I was like, his little, his little puppet, his little, his little girlfriend who do everything for him. And then he persuaded me to drop out of college and get a job. He said that staying in college is there's no point in it. It's just we need money. We've, we've got our own place now. We need to earn money to stay together. He took my wages. He he put everything in my name because he always used to buy things on the internet and whatever he did, he always put it in my name and I didn't think anything of it. I thought, well, would it be a couple? We'll sort it out. But I were in debt. There was no way to get out. But I thought I just got to grit my teeth and get on with it. This is what you got to do when you grow up. That's what I thought. Everyone had to do that. I thought it was normal. The first time I always remember the first time he hit me. It was break at work. I don't even. We weren't arguing or anything. We were just talking, and then he just punched me full force in the back. And I asked him what did you do that for and he never explained. He just acted on as normal. I didn't have any options. I just had him, I didn't have anyone else. I never spoke to my friends. I weren't allowed to. Every time a friend would ring me, he'd, he'd just take the phone off me and chuck it at the wall or tell my friends that I'm not here or I'm not well. Your nan came round the other day. She was asking about you. What? She's worried. And so am I, love. She says she's not seen you for a while. Why don't you pop round and see her? Next week or something. You alright, love? Yeah. Look, I've got a bit of money. It's not much, but it'll, it'll get you better shopping. Or something. I'm annoyed at myself. I'm embarrassed. I'm ashamed. I let it happen. I should just. Listen to my mum, listen to my friends and just stayed with them. I thought it would be better on our own because we could be a proper couple with no distractions and we can look at it together. Like if we get away from his mum, get away from his family, we'll be all right. But it just got worse and worse because no one was there to watch it. We were dead excited moving in on our own and um, we got a load of stuff together, decorated our flat, it, it, it was really good. But then things started to get worse because it was just me and him. Wow. Well good, isn't it? Look at the view on that. Yeah, all the best we got a microwave, not to bother them now. This is amazing, I can't believe it. Yeah, yeah. It weren't all bad. We had some good times actually, when it was good it was great, really good. It, it didn't happen every day. Okay. I loved him. It would go months and months without anything happening I thought, oh. He's finally stopped because he said he's going to change and that he loves me and I believed him, I wanted to believe him. But, well, like that, was it? <laughs>